One of the more common procedures that most foot and ankle orthopedists, and myself included, perform is a, a bunion procedure. And you can call them bunionectomies or you can call them hallux valgus corrections. Uh, it sounds like a very simple procedure, and I think the idea that a, a bunion is a bump on someone's foot and the procedure just as in, involved as uh, just removing that bump is, is really not uh, the case at all. Bunions come in all different shapes and sizes. Some are really small, some are big, some are associated with arthritis, some are associated with people who have uh, extreme loose joints and laxity. And so not one operation fits the same person. And even uh, in a person who might have bunions on both feet, uh, you might do one operation on one side and a different operation on the other side. And I think the key to a good outcome and what's fun about doing this type of surgery is actually figuring out exactly what procedure or combination of procedures uh, is most appropriate for each individual person. And Becky was a patient who came in and it had uh, had a bunion on one of her feet corrected previously, uh, done somewhere else, and she had a pretty rough uh, time getting over that. I think she developed an infection and she just had a long time uh, getting better. And so she was reluctant to have the side that we did corrected. Uh, unfortunately the, for her, the side that she came in to see me about started to bother her more and more and it ultimately got to the point where she was in so much pain on a daily basis that she was willing to go through the surgery again. I've had chronic foot pain, being that I'm an athlete and always being so active. Um, and just the problem that I had with my bunions, it was definitely time to get something done. And everyone spoke very highly of orthopedic associates. She had a much bigger deformity on the side that we fixed than she had on the other side. I explained to her that the operation that we were going to do was, was going to be bigger than what she had had done the first time and she was a little apprehensive I think uh, initially but ultimately we, we performed that surgery on her and she was very happy with her outcome and her entire post-operative course went really well. From my experience with Dr. Hort, it was such a, he was just such an amazing doctor and I was in the middle of doing my biology undergrad thinking I would go into research but just seeing how wonderful he was, it inspired me to go into medicine and he took me under his wing, he let me shadow him, I went to the OR with him and I just saw all of the things that he did and how he helped people in such a major way and it was just so inspiring so I decided to become a PA and that's what I'm doing now. I think my favorite part about working in orthopedics and, and working here is that you get to help people uh, get back to an active lifestyle. The most rewarding part is being able to surgically correct a problem that somebody has and, and let them get back uh, to doing the things that they want to do and, and living life the way they want to. 